Hello, hi, this is Joseph with uh, fuel injection, central sequential fuel injection. Question, if you wake up in the morning, you start your car on a cold day, 20 degrees, you look at the RPM and it says 1,000 RPM or even over that, what is the problem, if there is a problem? Should you be concerned? Should you go to the mechanic and say, okay, I think there's a problem, lose a day's work, or maybe it's normal? Let's see. Central sequential fuel injection. We're covering a, a Chevy uh, auto, and that means that the fuel injectors, fuel injectors are firing one after the other. And depending on, uh, it happens right before the intake valve opens, they spray that mist. A fuel injector is a coil that gets magnetized once current flows through it. Current, let's start, ECM, current will flow here, 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 and hopefully to ground. And we'll get back to this. All of them, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cylinders, a V6, obviously. And you see all the current paths is the same, in parallel, all in parallel, right? All in parallel, here, 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 here. Once this is activated, current flows, gets magnetized. It gets magnetized, then it pulls in the, the piddle, and after that, uh, the, 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 the fuel is pulled in and it's, and it's uh, actually swarms around in the piddle and we get a mist, a vapor, a mist of uh, fuel into the s cylinder. So, one thing we have to understand, we need a ground. The question is, where do we get a ground? This is a PCM, a computer. The computer controls everything. This one over here is another part of the PCM, another part. So, we toggle the fuel injector. Means we toggle it from ground. If we toggle it, we're turning it on or off. Once this is connected to ground, it's on. Current flows through it, magnetic field goes through the coil, and it, uh, uh, fuel can flow, create a mist, be mixed with the air mixture, into the cylinder. How long we keep this on is dependent upon the PCM looking at the sensors. All the input from the sensors, intake air temperature, depending on the temperature. We said it's a cold day. That means air, cold air is denser than warmer air. Therefore, we'll have to uh, pour more fuel into it. So we have something called a, a duty cycle, pulse width modulation, where the pulse will change. If we need more time to keep this on, in milliseconds we're talking about, the pulse will increase, the duty cycle, they call it the duty cycle, and it'll be on more, spraying more of a mist into the cylinder. Therefore, on a cold start, the, the, everything is cold, and the, the, there's even a, something called the cold start um, injector, because we're talking about below 32 degrees, and we look at the, at the temperature gauge, it's not even 100 degrees. Everything is cold. The engine is cold. Therefore, we need more fuel to warm up the engine. Therefore, the injectors have to work longer. Or we increase the duty cycle. We increase the pulse width. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, the RPM will be higher. What happens when it gets warmer, the engine? Well, open loop is when you first start. The PCM does not pay attention to the oxygen sensors. The oxygen sensors uh, at the cattle converter, post, pre, they tell you how much air is coming out of the exhaust. And we'll cover that later. And therefore, the PCM adjusts to that to either make the fuel air ratio, either make the fuel uh, more or less, make the fuel richer more fuel or leaner, less fuel, to match 
the fuel air mixture of 14.7 to 1 as close as we can so therefore this will be toggled a ground will be toggled over here sequential one after the other not multi-port sequential one after the other so when that happens you will see the computer will go to the oxygen sensors but the oxygen sensors have a heated element and they have to get hot over a thousand degrees sometimes and that's when the pcm starts paying attention to the oxygen sensors at the beginning an open loop it does not pay attention to those oxygen sensors but to other uh, sensors mass airflow sensor intake air temperature coolant temperature th throttle position sensor and so therefore once it starts vaporizing or uh, increasing more fuel the, the engine will get hotter the rpm will get less and less and less and less and then we go to close loop and eventually like we said the pcm will look at all the sensors and say okay less fuel we go leaner not richer therefore it is normal for the rpm to go a thousand or 1100 on a cold day but as long as it goes down maybe 700 whatever whatever uh, uh rpm 800 600 as long as it goes down that means it's getting warmer that means the uh, the oxygen sensors everything is operating so <coughs> so actually it is normal if you go there and you see a thousand rpm or, or higher that means pcm is working correctly that means the sensors are working correctly because it's supposed to be high. It's a cold day. If you notice, sometimes the alternator, the voltage is higher also to compensate for the cold, uh, the cold weather. So, uh, so every, that means everything is working normal. And when it goes down, that means also the PCM is working correctly. The, uh, the sensors are giving inputs to the PCM correctly. The fact that we don't have a check engine light means everything is normal. But, so when you get up in the morning and it is cold, expect the RPM to be high. But gradually, it'll go down once the engine warms up. So give it a few minutes. So you don't have to worry. Hope this explains a, a few things about fuel injection. And what's the next thing to do? Get in the car, drive to work. Enjoy your day.